What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jopper Gamerdude here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Soul Link with Joy. We're in for a ride. Uh, yeah, it's, um, oof. Yeah, um, we get to fight Saturn and go through Spear Pillar. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm I'm scared of this because I've never been this far in the game before. Yeah. Like I'm usually not. I die before I get to this point. Um I have Chad Ocho Cinco with Shed Skin, uh Acid Armor, Spatial Rend, Wing Attack, and Blizzard. Also I'm not hearing the game. That's great. So good thing that my audio is off anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That's good. <laughs> Hopefully anyway, we're good to go. And then uh you said that was a Dragonite? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't exactly remember what Mon he was. That's a really, really good Mon to give to a, a player like that. Um, that is paired to Julio Jones, the Star Raptor, who is holding the wide lens with the relaxed nature, Unburden as the ability, and Brave Bird, Howl, Rock Climb, and Hypnosis. Ooh, Hypnosis is not bad. Yeah, and that was why I gave it the wide lens as well, because the accuracy on Rock Climb and Hypnosis are... Kind of garbage, so. Yeah, they're the definition of bad. I'm, I'm trying to help. Then we have Quinn, um, after Glover Quinn, I want to say. That I believe right. so, yeah. Um, with Volt Absorb, Psybeam Haze, Magma Storm, and Ice Beam. You, Mr. Glover Quinn, have caused me a lot of issues when it comes to brain working. <laughs> so I appreciate you. Speaking of things that can cause issues with your brain working, we have Josh Gordon, uh, the rose incense holding vile plume little weed Pokemon, with the careful nature, vital spirit as the ability, seed bomb, leech seed, triple kick, and giga drain. I elected to not give it a stun spore. That makes just sense. because the the fighting type has helped me a little bit. So it's not the greatest of moves, but it's better than. All grass all day. Yeah. All grass all the time. <laughs> yeah. All, all grass everything doesn't sit well with me. No. <laughs> Even though grass is my favorite, like, typing, it's not really good. <laughs> I, I need diversity. Like, I can't have just one typing <laughs> no. of moves on this thing. Uh, then I have Tony Pollard, the water and dragon typing. Uh, with Impish Nature, Adaptability, Force Palm, Outrage, Hydro Pump, and Surf. <laughs> okay, Pollard. He needs to be the starter. I, apparently he's gonna be, if rumor, the rumor mill holds true. We'll see oh, well, how, that, uh, how that shakes out in the uh, off season. <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. It will be. Um, and then paired to them are Khalil Mack, our Tyranitar. I still can't believe it. it. It evolves. I was training and it evolves at level 40, so that's cool. Uh, holding the leftovers. Modest nature. Download as the Ooh, ability. Okay. Earthquake, surf, faint attack, and rock blast. Not bad. He's uh, more of a special attacker than a physical, which I am shocked at, but I will take it. Right? It's a win. It's something. Uh, yeah. It's a something. Then we have Megatron holding the charcoal. With Rash Nature, Steadfast Ability, Fly, Sacred Fire, Flamethrower, and Shadow Claw. Ooh, that's a nice set. I like that. Yeah, I'm also going through the sets pretty well today, which is surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Faster than me. And then we have Stefan Diglett. With the Muscle Band, Quirky Nature, Storm Drain has the ability, never going to be used, really. Uh, Strength Sludge, Aqua Tail, and Fissure. It's one of those pairings where it's only there for the one person. <laughs> Yeah. Which, speaking of one I, of those I, <laughs> Yeah, I, I will use it if I need to, but only if I need to. <laughs> and then, speaking of one of those types of pairings, we have one of my own. Joey Sly, the laxant sense holding Chimeco. With the calm nature, cute charm, tail glow, horn drill, mist ball, and cut. Oh my god, it has cute charm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. And then that is paired to my beast. Nido King Henry, holding the scope lens, relaxed nature, hypercutter as the abilities, poison jab, strength, sludge, and nightshade. So yeah, our team is pretty good um, for now. 
we have some things that we have to think about in the future because we have at least one encounter going on and if not two um I would hope for five, but you know, that doesn't happen until after the distortion world. So, uh, so one, which which one of these guys do I talk to? The one on the right or the one on the left? Uh, the one on the right, because that okay. is Saturn. That is the person you fight. The other one is Sharon, and you don't fight Sharon. I don't know why Sharon is a person. This doesn't fit the theme, I don't think. Jonas will prove me Sh- wrong. Shimon? Um, yeah, Sharon or whatever. <laughs> I, like, I know I know Sharon, but it reminds me of Shimon, which is just a Michael Jackson thing. Makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shimon. I mean, to be fair, this game came out right around that time, so... I'm, I'm okay with that. It makes sense. Well, I guess this game actually came out a little later than the other, but... <sighs> Magic, why are you the first thing I get to fight coming back? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Yay. What is your first thing that you get to fight coming back to this? Uh, wow. Okay. It was a victory bell, and now I'm a champ. So. Both of them. In get both screens. Bopped, get bopped by uh, Julio Jones. My only problem is using Brave Bird twice in a row is going to drop me down. Yeah, I got rid of Brave Bird. I had Brave Bird on my uh, Dragonite, and I said, no, 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 we don't do that. Yeah, I'm uh, tempted to, because I think it can learn, like, Air Slash or something, but I need a physical move on it. For some yeah. reason, it couldn't learn Fly, which I, I thought got... was pretty dumb. Oh, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah. Like, Fly of all things. Like, of course, that's the move that you can't learn, but, oh, nice, the C word, love it. Um... And he didn't even say it this time. It nope. just happened to show up. Uh, oh, why do you have Icy Wind, my champ? That's not bad. That's special on a physical attacker. That's not bad. I know, but it was on my... It was on my... Oh. My flying type, and I was like, that's stupid. Oh my gosh. We cannot have two C words in a row, game. I'm not in too big of trouble, but I hate when C words happen. <laughs> Wow, Machamp has rough skin. That was that, that could have been dangerous if I was any lower health. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're just gonna switch. Um. See, I, I love that the turns have tabled, where you're getting through a lot of your fights a lot faster than I am now, because it used to be just yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh, we had Lucky Champ. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense now. <laughs> Uh, well, also, I mean, you know what's funny about that, though, is, like, we've completely switched twice. At first, I was having a rough go of it, and you were fine. Yeah. And, and then and then I was fine, and then you were having a rough turn. And yeah. then it was the other way around. And... and now we're back. Yeah, and now we're back again. <laughs> we just Soul keep Link. trading off. It's really Honestly, fun. I love that, though, because that's kind of what a Soul Link is supposed to be. You both are trying to help each other out, and you both mm-hmm. are going to encounter your own issues along the way. So it it fits the theme and the trend, and so it's nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> oh, Empoleon, that's... Me saying... <sighs> Great. Don't be the ace. Okay, you're not the ace. It's fine. It's, it should be fine. What, what were you saying, oh, boy, too? Magnazone, because that single-handedly... <laughs> Tears through my entire team, <laughs> but I should kill it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. If, if it was the ace, I would be in trouble. It was not. A, a little bit. It was not. So whatever comes out now is the ace. Oh, it's uh, it's your partner. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, okay Megatron. Then. I know that Stefan Diglett is a great Pokemon, but also. <laughs> You really want to fight a Stefan Diglett? I don't think you do. Uh, no. Um, well, then again, it would be immune to its ground typing. True, but also, I just think, oh, Sun Edge is going to happen and d- just have a heyday, so. Okay, this is concerning. Oh! Um, how how many turns does um, Future Sight take before it takes hold? I want to say it's the third turn. So, if you're slower, then it's like two turns. Oh, okay. 
I'm guessing an, an, an Empoleon that used it, and he put up Rain Dance, so I can't exactly switch out into Mac to have an immunity from the Future Sight, but both Gordon oh. and Henry are weak to Future Sight. That's not good. No. So I'm wondering if I take this turn and I heal Julio Jones on the just in case I don't get hit with it. I almost want to say, yeah. That seems like a good play to just be safe, but. Yeah, because I think this is I think this is turn two because he used Future Sight and then I hit it. And so this would be turn two. Yeah, so it shouldn't pop off this turn, but it will right. probably pop off next turn. Okay. So I'm going to heal Julio Jones then. Now, Wait, just like fine. Burn, they might have changed that between generations yeah. <laughs> three and four because, of course, I learned that they did that between six and seven, and I was a little bit upset about that. That's, yeah, that's very sad. Especially when they lower it, and you're, like, freaking out about something, and you don't need to freak out about it because they lowered it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta love fun. freaking out over nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's something that both you and I do basically religiously, so... <laughs> <laughs> we, we know better, or we should know better. <laughs> but... Excuse me, why did you get an attack buff off of a Meteor Mash? I totally went the wrong direction. So... <laughs> Good job for me. <laughs> do I have Rock Climb on anybody? I don't think I do. Because Rock Climb is imperative for this section. Oh, well, I'm glad I gave it to Julio Jones. That's great. Yeah, I'm going to go pull, uh, what's his face from the box? Uh, Omanite, or Amistar, whatever that is. Uh, Osweiler, who has been my saving grace this entire run. Because... Which is just wrong. Yeah. For, for Brock Osweiler to be that guy? Like... Yeah. You're not, you're, you weren't a good quarterback. Why are you actually quarterbacking well? <laughs> well, I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of like piggybacking off the rest of the team, though, which makes sense, because that's exactly what he normally does. Exactly. <laughs> also, before I get too far, how's your fight going? I've finally beaten the Empoleon. I, I would have sped up through stuff, but I didn't want to mess up with the music, so. Oh, I, I won. I, I oh, beat him, so, yeah. Okay, well then I can kind of guide you to where to go. Yes, please. What, um, what do I do after I've beaten him? If you do have I push the button? Rock... Yes, if you, yeah, because you, you set the legendaries free that way. Okay. Which I totally oofed and went to go story progression and then forgot that. Oh yeah, that's right. We, uh, we're going to try and get the Lake of Valor encounter, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's it's totally fine. We're okay. Nothing bad can ever happen in this case scenario. It's... Oh, good. This path is clear now, so I don't have to traverse this stupid building anymore. Nope. Good. All right, let yeah, me go I've... heal, because he got a little bit damaged. Uh, if you want to fly to Orberg, you can heal in Orberg. Okay. I, I don't have a Flymon with me, so I need to go grab oh. Sammy. <laughs> I guess that would make a difference with it. Kind of. Is this where we go to um, Mount Mortar? Not Mount Mortar. Mount Cornet? Yeah. I, why did I say Mount Mortar? Don't worry. I've been saying <laughs> random things from random generations lately, too. So. <sighs> Zygarde cubes. Definitely in this game. <laughs> Joy, Joy and I were uh, literally just hanging out talking. And I saw green, like the green speckles of the galactic thing. And I was like, oh, Zygarde cube, gotta go collect it. I'm like, no. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, because you've been doing that a lot with um, your other series, so it makes sense. Yeah. Alright, Orberg. Like, you haven't go. gotten any more fossils yet either, right? No. Okay. Which is big sad, because I want them. I know, me too. I think I have two fossils. I know I got, like, I got four dome fossils or something while I was item hunting, so... Because of course I would get all duplicates. Duplicates are the best. <laughs> yeah, de definitely like getting those. 
Duplicates make my life so happy because I have <laughs> random things that I don't need in my bag that are taking a bag of storage space. But bag I mean, storage space money. doesn't exist right now, so that's good. We're yeah, in the era I'm, I'm of I'm okay bag with it because it's money. Mm -hmm. It's so weird to think, though. Like, we bag storage space was a huge thing, and now it's just like, oh, nope, don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it was a massive problem. I still remember Gen 1. I mean, I used to preach bag management in every single series we would all do. I just gotta say, though, I was pretty good at bag management. Oh, yeah, I think you did well. I think that there was definitely others that were not as good at it, but... I can think of a couple. Uh, I can think <clears> of, <throat> yeah. There, I can think of a, a special Dawn fan that has that problem. Um, but, yeah. you know, can't name names or anything. <laughs> No, no, we definitely shouldn't. I could have had a Monferno. Are you serious? Yeah, no, don't worry. I just, my brain said the same thing. Remember that you could have gotten magics here? And I was just like, shut up, brain. I don't need you. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me pop a repel. Uh, yeah, that was probably a smart idea. Because uh, I forgot that we're in a mountain. And they're the greatest when it comes to encountering things. Yes, they are. Um... Yeah, I'm going to pop a repel, too, because I should have repels. And if I don't, then I'm a sad sack of potatoes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I have one. <laughs> oh, no. John. Hey, at least I can't be a sad sack of potatoes, because I actually do have one. True. You you do have a repel. <laughs> a, a singular one. But I don't have strength on anybody. Oh, guess who's going to learn it? Freaking, of course, Joey Sly. Go ahead, learn strength, because that way you can boom a 50-yard field goal and get five fantasy points. I think that's a great idea. You know, you know what, Joey? <laughs> you, you know what? Now is not the time. <laughs> How dare you, Joey? <laughs> I don't need that memory. I still, I still love that. That, that, well, that was just like when uh, you were talking about the Nickelodeon situation, and I was just like. <laughs> Can we not think about that game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how I am with the uh, the Cowboys playoff. Yeah, I should have. Wait, but you chose the Cowboys. Yeah, but the, but their playoff game against Detroit, that the, the whole oh, pick up the flag thing. Oh, yeah, that one. I'm yeah. still mad about that. I mean, I want the Detroit Lions to make it to the Super Bowl, honestly. Next year... I'm hoping for Detroit Lions <laughs> against, uh, who do I want in the AFC to make the Super Bowl? Honestly, it's probably going to be the Chiefs, but, you know. I would I would say the Bengals, to be fair. Bengals would be fun, too. They, the, they the keep, I want, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just, Kitty, Kitty made me laugh. It shouldn't have, but I'm immature like that, apparently. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> fine um i mean hey it's they, they've Campbell, been we're fine i mean sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um <laughs> the uh the, the Bengals have been kind of held back by the league for a while so oh yeah no it would honestly. be nice if, if them and detroit did it the exact same the, the exact same run would be cool I but i don't know i still can't believe they had a whole villain arc like, I don't think I've oh ever God, had a they team. They really have... did, though. I don't think I've ever seen a team have a villain arc like that. They they messed up, though. You shouldn't have poked the bear. What are you doing? Yeah, when you when you said that on your uh, thing with uh, Steve, I was like, "Yep, that's exactly what happened." They poked uh, the bear and Patrick Mahomes and and the league. Got... True, they were like Burrowhead Stadium. Like that was no. That was the dumbest that thing was, they could have that ever was done. A, That was the biggest mistake. And then there was this thing of, like, um, Cincinnati's mayor was asking somebody who their daddy was, and it was actually going to be Burrow. And I'm like, y you probably shouldn't say that. Yeah. Well, Even though he's you know younger what? than Patrick Mahomes, right? The politicians always mess up something. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> I hate how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> And that is that is that is a topic for a completely different day. One hundred percent. But still, it's just like the fact that that topic is relevant. Um, but also, 
what's not relevant is running into Char uh, Charizards. Yes, that's a Charizard, everybody. You know, this yellow Pokemon that has spikes all over it. Yeah, that's a Charizard. It's not a Jolteon. No, no, no. Can't. <laughs> Can't be a Jolteon. Somebody has Mega on the mind. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, whoopsies. It's the true case of Mega Mind. <laughs> Nice. I'm in that mode today. <laughs> uh -huh. I respect it. I blame Travis. I, I, I respect that too. <laughs> I love how like deadpan uh, Steve was when he brought that Because <laughs> I think he, he was just in listening mode. But <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he was like I was when Jonas was giving his... Uh... Carolina Panthers thing. Yeah. And he just like blanked. He, yeah. like, he paid no attention to anything. It was funny. That was like one of the, like, I, I love the fact that we do that or that we all do that series. Like, that's, yeah, me too. That's one of my favorite series to do. Cause you just, you, it's one, it gives you something to do every week. And if you don't, guys don't know, cause I just realized we're on my channel. What's going on? <laughs> um, we're talking about Joy's, I need waterfall. Are you kidding me? Joy's, uh. Wait, we do? I've, I've gone the wrong direction then apparently. Cause that is not where I am. <laughs> I don't even know where you are in the first place. I don't know. Oh, why don't I have waterfall? What? We're in trouble. <laughs> I, I don't know if we need Waterfall. I'm going to hope we don't. Am I just crazy? Uh, which direction do I go here? I, I, I remember this wrong, area. I might have gone bit. the wrong way, though. Maybe. I am not sure. But then why would you get T HMO7 ver oh, before HMO8? Or after HMO8? I honestly don't know Order this whole area is a big time maze for me yeah so i'm just kind of hoping i'm going the right way and i'm That's probably not what joy and i are literally doing are we going the right way hopefully <laughs> let's hope probably no oh look it's an oddish no, but honestly, I hope we're going the. You might be. I, going I the see. Right way. I see a lot of trainers, and typically, whenever you see trainers, you're going in the right area. Typically. Unfortunately, I can't avoid you. So. I'm trying to think of like what, where waterfall would be located that I'm just like not remembering. <sighs> Who do I trust? I trust you. Oh yeah, yeah, you are going the right way. Okay, I know. Where okay, we are. good. Because you had to rock climb, and there's a waterfall next to the rock climby thing. Yeah. You're going the right way. Okay, good. I was like, I, I feel like... I you know what's it. funny? Is I was just going based on total autopilot from memory of watching other people yeah. play oh, this game. The waterfall is a legendary situation. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh. That's why okay, I went good. there. I, I'm on encounters mode. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Let's just get out of this gosh darn mountain mode. Yeah. I want to be on that mode. This mountain is ridiculous, and apparently there are Salamences here too. Oh no, not that. Yeah. We all know how good that Mon is for you. Yeah, that you use oh, spells a disaster. Oh, King. Oh, what do I do to a Nido King? You know, that fits the theme of what I literally my episode yesterday <laughs> or today, um, like <laughs> off day of recording. Where it was like mm -hmm. you're your weakest enemy or you're your strongest enemy or whatever or whatever it was titled. Yeah, you are you're your greatest enemy or something like that. Because a Pokemon used imposter and I was like, well, great, love it. <laughs> and then I ended up having oh, a struggle with why that. Why did you? Mm. What? No, I got poisoned. Oh, I was like, why? I thought you were gonna say why did you jinx it, and I was like, what did I jinx? Oh no. No, you're fine. I just... Imp I was like, I didn't think imposter existed yet, Joy. But I was <laughs> wrong, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, well, now I see. got poison. <laughs> Why not? Well, what uh, I I'm trying to this? think. Oh, that means that all of that fun stuff's going to be your episode. Oh, great. <laughs> Yay. Joy's episode is the episode that all heck will break loose. 
because of course. I'm I'm trying to Nato King could have learned Bone Club, I think, on my side. And I chose not to give it to him. So Somebody this AI might it. might have given it self bone <sighs> clubs. I'm just trying to not send Mac out. Yeah, I don't want Mac to die. Me neither. But I'm trying to think about what, like, what are the odds that it actually does have a ground move? Uh, I mean, it's a poison and ground type. I know, but I'm trying to base it off of the the moves that I have. Because it hit me with poison jab, so I would assume that it has the same moves that I do. Yeah, it should. It should have the same moves that, because if it's a Nido King, then it's whatever the four moves Nido King comes with. So you might have more move diversity than it does. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go Nido King on Nido King then. It's just you're right though. If it oh it, you if you tried to learn Bow Club, you it might have it. Just because. right. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. So it's like I'm not gonna risk tossing Mac out because yeah. I could easily kill it with an earthquake, but oh, I don't want to die. So you see Regirock and you're automatically like, I'm about to die now. That's just the law of Regirock. <laughs> but but I forget it doesn't have the uh, the bad move. True. Which is nice. Yeah. Any any Reggie is usually a no. Yeah. I think I had even um, the president an episode. Of Nintendo... Go ahead. Even the president of Nintendo, because <laughs> his name's Reggie. Yeah. I, I I get you. It took me a second. It's okay. But I, I made that. a I made a joke earlier and it just flew right past everybody and it was like oh Oof. oh dear I hate I hate when that happens when you make that kind of it's like oh pff, nobody got it yeah a, yeah I've, a, I've been there a few times have you seen like Shaun the Sheep uh something's coming to mind from that but I don't know offhand what it is. so that was kind of where my joke was oriented is in that direction. It was a random. My brain went to one of those random places. It's like, okay, brain. Yeah, that's a very niche, which I think is the problem with jokes a lot of the times. Like, uh, inside jokes are usually bad, which is bad for us because you and I just talk like everybody knows what we're talking about, even though <laughs> probably nobody does. <laughs> this is why we have Jonas. Yeah, so he can usually cut out like all of our. Are you serious? <laughs> This isn't good. He okay. can either cut out all of our, you know, single offhand commentary, or he can explain it, which he did in episode one, and I really appreciated. Yeah, yeah, oh. him like, explaining the things that we've said is is really helpful. I really hope you don't have a water move, Babero. I feel bad. I'm used to seeing Raikou with the little. Oh. I'm just gonna stop before it gets even worse. <laughs> Uh, that would have been a great tangent, but no. <laughs> Jonas is the one that pointed it out, so that oh. would have been an inside joke. Okay. Uh, but I don't know what to do with Raikou and how I want to fight a Raikou because three out of my four Pokemon are weak to it. Well, Ooh. actually, these two are neutral. I thought about it. They're neutral. They're not weak, but still. Um, you know what I'm noticing is like both of our teams have that kind of issue. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Magic. You're so helpful. Magic's always helpful. <laughs> Ma- Magic has drought. Oh. <laughs> so he's he's nerfing himself. So I switched into the one thing that wasn't going to be weak to water, and then he's just like, "Hi, I'm actually not a problem. We're good." <laughs> you thought I was a problem? Actually, I don't have uh, no guard or wonder guard or anything crazy. Just you're scandal. you're actually on my side, Magic, and I appreciate that. Yeah, because he very well could have said no. Oh yeah, he he could have easily bodied me. I was terrified because um, there was a, a barrel that I was facing, and I couldn't switch out Mac, and I was worried that a like a surf or something was coming. Ooh. But no, he just. Use Dragon Dance and terrified me for no reason. 
Dragon oh. Dance is ridiculous. It is. It's so scary. It's that's one of those like if 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 you had one move that if you saw it you're freaking out. It's Dragon Dance because it ups yeah. the speed too. And I think yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's my problem. Swords Dance is like okay, it's fine. You're faster. You're slower. So it's whatever. But Sword yeah. or uh, other one, Dragon Dance, you're like oh your speed just went up. What if you're faster? What if you're not? Oh my god. Exactly. Then then you're playing the huge what if game. Yeah. And I hate what if games. I hate the what if game. I, oh my gosh, I actually used to trigger my family with the what if game. <laughs> I was that kid. What if this happened? What if that happened? Like, oh, if there was yeah. a logical explanation to this, then why wouldn't there be a logical explanation to that? Mm -hmm. What if there was an easier solution to the X? <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> well, I mean, what what's funny about that is like, I was, I grew up on um, Hey Arnold in the 90s, and one of his things was to always ask why. Yeah. You know, he always taught kids to be, you know, um, I want to say inquisitive. I'm not sure if that's the right word. That sounds like but the right it, word. It, it sounds right. So he always taught kids to be that way. And, and so I kind of took to that. Right. And so that's kind of what I did growing up, is every single thing that was brought up, I would just say, but why? Which you can probably tell because that's kind of what I do now. Yeah. But but why though? And so like always ask questions saying, well, what if this happens? Why did this happen? And that kind of thing was always something I grew up learn learning how to do. Why yeah. do you have Frenzy Plant? Oh, that's See? my freaking favorite move. I love, I love that move plant. on it's my ground great. type. That's, it's oh. so wonderful. Did, did, uh, did I lose my Charizard? No, you're good. Okay, good. Well, no, because it was it was on my my Nido King, so it was actually neutral. But oh, okay. If if it was on oh. Stefan, we he would have died. Rotom, <sighs> how are you doing today? Remember when <sighs> I said Electrotype Floor was so great for my team? Yeah, I remember when I said that. Uh, clenched teeth time. Okay. Uh, Same though. Great. Um, I'm I'm realizing that I have a weakness to um uh, water psychic. Yeah, mine is electric, and I think I gotta have another. Oh yeah, rock, electric and rock. Yeah, so we need to get you some ground typeage, yeah. which we had, but then we switched it. Yeah. Well, what? So your electric, your weakness is water and psychic. Yeah. So like, I kind of need. I don't even know what I need. Like my my grass type would be great here, but it's also part poison. You need so Jonas. that's kind Jonas of a problem. I yes. I mean Can quite I literally my shiny... grass and dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He he is exactly everything that I need right now. Um I'm still shiny hunting a Jonas in that one route. I can I get a shiny Kyogre, a shiny Jonas. I love that that's where my brain went. Yep, that, it's Jonas. Jonas is yep. the answer to your problem. <laughs> And and you right exactly. And understandably, wait, do we not have a? Oh no, we do. I would lose my ice type, but that's okay. Um, is this a double battle? Where are you? At the top of Sphere Pillar. Uh, it is, but that's where I was gonna end the episode because oh. I'm taking forever. <laughs> things, <laughs> things are not lining up in the direction that I need them to. Um. Oh no. Yeah, this is a very oh no situation. Uh, I'll just I'll, I'll heal. I don't oh, really want to go back. No, we. I don't want to go back there. Going so all the way up this area. And you get healed literally after one of these battles. So. Oh, okay, cool. I want to um, say like after Jupiter situation. And they're like, okay, we're gonna heal you for this situation. Also, dang it. Oh, hi Charizard. Um, Pollard's. Pollard is that Pollard that Pollard Mag pair? We I know now knowing Honestly? that it evolved at level forty is making me sad because we could have had this pair forever. I know, yeah. I didn't even think about it, but I didn't want to be stuck with the Pupitar. I didn't want to stick you with the Pupitar either. Well, and not only that, but we had Golduck and um and Hitmonlee, which would have taken up what this pair is. So Yeah. It was honestly better to have that pair because you would have had a huge I think, it, I think it was huge power, wasn't it? Yeah, pure power. Um, pure, yeah, you would have had pure power, Hitmonlee, and I really like Golduck, so... 
I was okay with that. <laughs> also, hi, Bri. Bye, Bri. I want to speed up, but also... Yeah, I mean, if you can gonna... get up here without losing anything to speed up, that'd be okay. Well, I was—I knew it was gonna die. Was what that what I was doing? Oh, okay. Okay, but yeah, I made it up here. So in the next episode, since we're thirty-six minutes in somehow, we'll be taking Holy on crap. Um, this spear pillar and going through the distortion world. So there's a lot that we have to do. Oh no. Um, on Joy's channel because one episode won't cut it, and well, actually, it might. Who knows? D E T H S can have it. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> because, don't. Don't speak of that. Because somebody's going to be level 48, so that's great. But yeah. How, <laughs> how far How far is that? Because I just now got a level 47. What am I concerned with? Uh, it's Cyrus. You can fight Cyrus in the distortion world. He's level 48 ace. Okay, we have time to get there. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see you guys then. Any last words? Uh, mm, great. Yep. <laughs> not, not, not looking forward to my episode because I didn't know that Distortion World was this close, and I've been dreading it since we started this series. So, <laughs> puzzle time. Ah, <Great. laughs> oh, freak me.